the march of the Christmas trees continues. And we are back at the St. Lawrence Market. It's only well, less than 48 hours now to the big Christmas day. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. I'm Wes, by the way. That short guy, Wes. As anyone who knows me but doesn't know me would be all like, Oh, I know that guy. That's that short guy, Wes. And I'm here on another sadly gray sky day. In the city of Toronto. Look at this guy. The old man with his pipe and his store. Oh, the historical accuracy. Before the gentrification. Before the gentrification. Oh, look. I'll catch it. So, yeah. Oh, thank you. I figured. I would maybe hit the antique market today, but then, much to my surprise, the St. Lawrence Market is open today, which I find strange because it's not usually open Sundays, but I guess since it's the last Sunday before Christmas, and everyone's got to get their Christmas on, it'll be open, which is kind of awesome, so maybe we'll do both. If you haven't made your fruitcake yet, your abysmal, god awful fruitcake. There's your glazed mixed fruit to do it. I do admit, I love those unnaturally green cherries. Oh, what a Christmas tree, indeed. I'm not a giant Christmas fan, but I gotta admit, the last couple of days before it, I get a little bit into it. I'm just hoping that my Christmas plans, <laughs> life is short, smile, will you still have teeth? Little sign there. I hope that my Christmas plans have not been foobarred. Because the person I'm supposed to be doing things with has gone radio silent. So we will see. Mm chocolates. Ice wine flavored syrup. I'd kind of just rather have the ice wine. Ever had ice wine? Only had it once. It's very sweet, very tasty. I enjoy it. Christmas treats. Oh, Christmas treats. How I love these Christmas You know what? These chocolates and organic things, organic veggies are fine, and the raw vegan. But let's go upstairs and find some nice bloody meat, or maybe some. That's some day of the tripping stuff going on there. That's terrifying. I don't know that I really want my fruit and vegetables to join forces in like some sort of vegetarian Voltron and start dancing. That's kind of disturbing. I need to disturb. Elevator. Because crippled people, disabled people do not like stairs. Yes, I use the C word. But that's my word. It's like, I, I use, if you know, I classify myself as a midget. I say midget because I hate the term little person. It is quite frankly more degrading to me. Little people were toys sold by Fisher Price. Think about that. Protecting the nation in a hat and a coat. Go, Mountie! Go, Banana! Here we go. Look. One of my favorite things here. Would you look at that 
oven roasted side bacon. Oh. That stuff is heaven, I tell you. Pure heaven. Look, there's more of it. There's more of it. Oh. And the back bacon. Cutting that bacon off. Oh. Oh, yeah. Do you take MasterCard here? Yes, I mean. So good. All kinds of skewers, smoked pork chops, one of my favorite things. I love a good smoked meat. We've got the chicken counter. All the chicken. All the chicken. Nick, you've got a very big dog. If you want to give a Christmas present to, look at the size of those bones. Sorry. Christmas pigs. Christmas pigs. Doing jigs. Doing jigs. Near the baked goods in the market. Cake pots. Oh, Christmas trees. And of course, we've got the gingerbread man. And the sugar cookies. And all your Christmas get fat needs. Like I said, I'm not entirely down with the whole Christmas thing, but I do enjoy the Christmas eating. I would love to have one of those. Nice, delicious smoked turkey. One day for Christmas, I will have a smoked turkey. I'm hoping tomorrow night, or this Christmas night, or two nights away, to continue the tradition of having a Chinese spicy cooked lobster for Christmas dinner with my bestie. We'll see if that happens or not. I'm hoping it will. Things are... Well, sometimes people have a hard time. It happens. But as far as I know right now, the Christmas thing will still happen. And if not, maybe we'll just do the very first, that Short Guy West Christmas special. Who knows? Okay. And I actually didn't come down here today to get the meat. I actually came down here today. How can I do this? I'll just go down this way because I don't know. Old pre-gentrification buildings haven't been knocked down or destroyed yet to make ways for condos. There is a Popeyes and a Booster Juice though. There ain't no room for family business in the city anymore. So where the cookie crumbles. So where the cookie Christmas cookie crumbles. So yeah, might come back to the St. Lawrence Market later on, because I generally didn't think it would be open today. It's not usually open Sundays, but I guess because the Christmas deal and everyone needing to get their Christmas cookies and Christmas meat and mm, Christmas meat. They, uh, have it open for a rare Sunday occasion. But where I want to go today is connected, well, in the across the street from the St. Lawrence Market. They actually tore the original building down and they're building a new building, but they currently have a tent for it. Big fancy tent is the St. Lawrence Sunday Antique Market, which I'm hoping will be open. Better be open. So I came down specifically for that. And to maybe do some work at Balzac's. Because I will need a coffee today, that's for sure. 
Oh man, I really hope this is open. Watch for pedestrians! I really hope this is open. Oh good, it does seem to be open. <laughs> pedestrians use the south sidewalk. That's what we do. And we've made it across. Yay. Haven't been killed yet. Or hit by a car. Good for us. Okay. Let's see what we can see today. No problem. Some vintage ice skates. Somebody lost their marbles. Oh, I love this. Why? Why? You know what? A couple of reindeer down there. Asking, there's a woman down there that has silver plate. I just bought some things that are in a square. What's her name? Not to get too erotic here. Take it to her and see what she thinks. Is she there? I'm just going to be back. Yeah, I can see her right there. You're Messiah. Oh, yeah, we got a... He's sleeping. The <laughs> twelve days of Christmas. You see Yoda. <laughs> In need of a good sword, hardly Excalibur, but it's some kind of caliber. And there we are. Not disturbing at all. Not disturbing at all, but not disturbing enough for my collection either. Oh my god. Oh my god. Would you look at her? Wow. Do you want to build a snowman? I still have never seen that build. Me, um, wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, Dad. Won't you spare me over just another year? I'm getting bumped and jostled around by people. I'll see how to watch out for small dogs at this one. You call it. Lay that to my nephew. He was like five years old. I need to get him a copy of it, but not a vintage one. Yeah. Vintage cameras are also an addiction of mine. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a confession. I'm really not a fan of the Beatles. I mean, it's kind of like Queen. I get, you know their cultural significance, but I just would rather not listen to them. And, well, John Lennon was trying to be a peace dick who liked to beat his wife, so, I, uh, yeah, yeah, just, I could do without the Beatles, I really could, I mean, I'm not bashing Beatles fans, it's not like, you know, One Direction fans or something, but yeah, I could do without them. Kitty cats! And a funky dragon turtle. I love a dragon turtle. Do you want a dragon turtle for Christmas? Made in Canada. Oh, little vintage snowmen. I remember snowmen like that. That's got to be at least like 70s. 
That's a little problematic. My grandma would have loved it. My aunts and uncles would love it. But it's a little problematic. No, I was never a Beatles fan. But Leonard Cohen? Oh, yes. Very big Leonard Cohen fan. Ah. Reptile shoes. Now it's getting crowded. I need to be a little more careful. A little more watching where I'm going. Because sometimes there's also someone walking around here with a little tiny dog or three. And the last thing you want is to get caught up in a little tiny dog leash. That, and combined with the fact that I am short, so many keys. More beetles. That, combined with the fact that I am short, nobody watches for short people in the crowd. Trust me. They will just bump into you, wail their arms, or, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. Well, yes, that's because you weren't looking. Not just not looking down, but you weren't looking at all. Oh, one day something like this will be mine. Not today, but one day. Oh, those are adorable. Those are adorable. I already have. Stick me out of the way of someone. I already have so many vintage cameras that I cannot get film for. Well, I can get film for it, but I have to modify the film. I have to, like, cut it and mess with spools. And then, you know, it's getting harder and harder to find anyone that can process the film, let alone, let alone print it. I bought a scanner, though, so I can scan my own film now. But it's still very difficult and expensive when I can do most things with my cell phone now. Sometimes I just like that film touch though. <laughs> I enjoy it. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. I'm having forward flashbacks. I think that's part of the reason I enjoy Fallout so much, is I love all the old signage and find, going and finding the old junky stuff. It's fun for me. I'm a bit of a scavenger at heart, so... Yeah, even Fallout 76, I just like wandering around, looking for crap to turn into other crap. This is nice. Old Olympus camera. Some old wooden masks. Silver. Ooh, 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 cheap stuff. Check out the clown. Check out the clown. Can you even believe? that they had that clown on sale? I mean, who wouldn't want that in their home? Who isn't a serial killer or something or running that clown hotel? Is that on Route 76? 60, Route 66? Yeah. I think that's where it is. I can't remember. I should watch the video again. Turtle lock, fish lock, I'd certainly lock things up with a fish or turtle if I had the chance. Oh my god, I think I found Republican Barbie. It's gotta be Republican Barbie. I mean, did you see her? Did you see the hair? Definitely, definitely Republican Barbie. Shut down the government. Build the wall. Barbie.
There are literally people jostling me every time I stop. But oh, look at her. From the Jesse collection. Five dollar for you. Five dollars? Okay. Take it the whole. Oh, you can give me 15. Oh. 15 for the whole thing? Yeah. Alright, I will probably be back around for that. $15 for a whole box of dolls. That's tempting, but none of them were creepy enough. I only need the creepy dolls. Do they look happy to you? They didn't look happy to me. M I C T E Y M O U S E. Ah, I watch a YouTuber that would like this. Hello, Jumper. Wait a second. Since when was Mickey on Stargate Atlantis? That's, that's, that's strange. That's strange, indeed. Oh, but you look at that. That is beautiful. See, you look through the top little thing there. Oh. One day, one day I will have one of those. I would never get filmed for it these days to be able to actually shoot with it. But oh my god, it is such a beautiful little camera. I want one so bad, but I have so many little cameras already that I can do nothing with, and I desperately want to go to shoot with all of them. Uh, teddy bear. Look at all the stamps. Look at all the stamps. Don't know what that's about. Uh, weird little stamps. Seriously, thing. If Santa knows if you're naughty or nice, how did he not know that Rudolph was being bullied? Did he just not care? That's a good question. What the hell, Santa? What the hell? Airplane race. Must be some sort of game. In other words, don't let them out. Alright. Working my way to crowds. I'm gonna check out if there's anything on the outside today. If there's anything on the outside at all today. Because usually this market has both stuff on the inside and the out, but I didn't see much coming in. Oh, there's a little bit of stuff. A little bit of stuff. A wee bit. What can we find out here? Well, found candy canes and chocolate balls. Oh my god. What the? Wait, 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 wait. That's what I thought. It's a Pac Man puppet. Well, that's disturbing. That is, that is very, that Pac-Man puppet, I will have nightmares. Not too much out here today, but it is winter. In the summer, there's usually a lot more on the outside too. <laughs> Kangaroo! Salt and pepper shakers. My grandmother had like 10,000. Yeah. Salt and pepper shake. Yeah. Speaking of disturbing, Ronald Reagan and Nancy. 
and naturally they're sleeping with a gun because why not oh my god I had this Vader when I was a kid I'm pretty sure I had this Vader childhood remembered that's the thing you go to an antique show and all of a sudden stuff you realize you recognize from your childhood are now antiques because you're old it's uh not exactly a fun thing to be realizing oh my god what fresh hell is that you seeing that it's got the jewelry and the long neck and then the cold dead eyes of someone without a mind exactly that's how that makes me feel exactly oh. 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 terrifying why did anyone ever have any of this stuff in their homes i mean i collect creepy dolls but th that that's th there is something deeply disturbing in the force when it comes to something like that <sighs> freaky all right i guess that's the antique market i didn't find the little trinket i was hoping to find but it was going to be a long shot, because I always leave this crap to the last minute. Thought about something from my friend. A little something special, because they're down. But I technically already got those Christmas presents taken care of. And that thing would have been borderline spoilage if I could uh, actually find it. Which I couldn't. But sometimes you just you want to get that someone that little extra special thing. Huh. Oh well. Back in the St. Lawrence Market for a little bit to look at some food. Tasty, tasty food. Adjust my camera so that you can actually see. I am, I do apologize for some of my camera angles. I am still learning, especially now that I got this little selfie thing to uh, hold on with. I don't know what those are, but they look delicious. Look at those, they're like some little fried pastry thing. Uh, did somebody order a vat of sausage? I might have. I might have ordered that indeed. <laughs> something to caribou. Yeah, I'm really trying to uh, be more careful about my camera angles. I know the last Christmas market vlog I shot, I uh, wasn't really showing you a lot. It was showing a lot of my chin and it was showing you a lot of the ground or the sky. And I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to learn how I do this. Mm. She said it better than I ever could. Well, actually, it's a key lime pie. Lamb. But, who's counting? But yeah, I'm trying to get this vlogging thing down better. Ooh, cigar style bucket that. And hone the craft. Because there are going to be more adventures in the new year. Do you know I know this place. And the adventures will be pretty amazing. We're uh banana. We're going to go to 
we're going to go to Niagara Falls at least once, probably in January for my birthday for a couple days. And it will be a vacation thing, but I do plan on doing some filming there. And we will be, might actually be going there before my birthday. Uh, the best friend and I have been talking about maybe going there just to chill at the casino for the night on New Year's Eve and ring the bell drop in there. We're going to take what is lovingly called the Chinese gambling bus and uh, just go there for like 9 at night and come home at like 5.30 in the morning on the same bus. But all those plans are kind of up in the air at the moment. But we will see. Mm. Bark. We will see. Either way, I'm pretty sure the birthday thing is still happening. <laughs> Whorehound candy. I don't know what uh, mm, chestnuts. Whorehound is... I'm not sure. Mmm, I don't know what a wow nut is. Because you're going to love my nuts. But yes, there will be adventures. Especially when winter's done and it gets warm. There will be more adventures. And more traveling and more doing things. As I'm just getting into the rhythm of doing this thing. But yeah, I think I'm going to cut it here because when I do all these little clips and that I edit together later, I really don't know how much time I have recorded for. And sometimes it's all of a sudden, oh, it's been 35 minutes and I gotta cut stuff out. I'm not good at doing that yet because I don't really make these to have stuff cut out of them. But as always, you can like, share, subscribe, do all the things, the ding ding dings. And um, I've got that Society6 page with my awesome photography art on it. Some abstract stuff and some doll stuff. It's really cool. Um, if you like some of this stuff, I pointed out at the, Chris, at the uh, antique market just now, you will probably like some of the stuff that is on my page, on my Society6. Um, if you want to get a little more political, I have a spread shirt. There's not much on it right now, especially now that the one shirt is a Christmas shirt and you wouldn't be able to get it for Christmas now, but you should keep an eye on that. The link to both those will be down below, down below. And I've got an Instagram and the link to that will be down below as well. So yeah, I'm going to go back out in the cold. I'm going to put my gloves on now put things away, and I will see you later, probably before Christmas, that's the plan anyway, might go shoot some uh, cray cray mall stuff tomorrow, just for fun, and hopefully if that Christmas lobster thing happens, you'll get to see it, so I leave you with a pigeon of the city. Have a good one, everyone.